Okay, welcome back to the Specialized Library Spotlight. Uh, today we are featuring Eugene Judice and the Denton's Library. So uh, Eugene, welcome. Can you just tell us a little bit about yourself and, uh, and, and who you are? Good morning, Dan. Thank you for having me on uh, your interview today. Uh, as, as Dan said, my name is Eugene Judice. I'm the Senior Research Services Training Specialist at Denton's US. I work in downtown Chicago in that building right about that floor. Uh, when we go back to the office. Uh, my responsibilities are sort of twofold. I do traditional legal business research and reference. And then I also am involved with all the training, enablement, and orientation for new attorneys, staff, summer associates, fall associates. I all get, uh, they all see me uh, to talk about uh, research services. And then I do some customized training for individuals who are interested in a particular product or might need a brush up on legal research, uh, I can provide those services as well. Great. Okay. So, so tell us a little bit about the Denton's library. Um, you know, you talked about like attorneys and, uh, and, and, uh, and other folks in the company, but wh what are the services that you provide uh, to those, uh, to those folks? Well, really we, we, I like to say we handle four types of projects. Okay. Um, and the, the first type is a project that's going to help an attorney deliver value to clients. So that means whether it's as simple as fetching an article, we do a lot of document delivery, or it's um, case pulls. We've done, you know, we pull uh, cases that might have been cited in a, in a filing that they want, that the attorneys want to review, or more in-depth research, such as they're looking for cases or treatise material that fit a certain fact pattern or discuss a certain topic. So um, the second type of project we work on are those projects that are going to help attorneys garner more work from their current client or work from a new client, those business development opportunities. So we're really involved in, in providing uh, business intelligence, primarily business intelligence to our business development team, our clients and markets team, as well as attorneys that are going off and meeting. Uh, they might be meeting with um, general counsel. They say Eugene or anybody on the team, uh, I'm meeting with Mr. or Ms. So-and-so, what can we find out about them? The third thing is, we, we, help pro we work on projects that help attorneys enhance their reputation in the legal community, whether it's here in Chicago or in one of the other cities that we have an office. So that means we might help them with pulling sources for articles that they're writing or sources that they're going to be using in presentations that are going to be going, they're going to be giving either internally or externally to industry groups. And the last type of project is those projects that are going to enhance the firm's reputation. So we might be working on a pro bono matter with an attorney, or there might be an office-wide initiative that uh, we assist with. Uh, in fact, one of, the, one of the projects we worked on was with Uptown People's Law Center. And uh, the research team here, here in, in the Chicago office uh, facilitated a relationship between the Uptown People's Law Center and our uh, DMS vendor, I managed because Uptown People's Law Center was in need of a document management system. So we, in, so we helped facilitate that, um, that relationship and help that project get off the ground. So it's really a, a panoply of, of different types of things. I don't like to say that we can do everything because that's, that's too glib and that's, it's, that, that's really not true. Um, I like to say anything that is sometimes maybe out of the ordinary, I encourage the attorneys and staff to say, you know, come to us. Because as they work with uh, the research team, they find, and, and Dan, you probably know this from your own experience, that researchers, if they find a project that's a little bit off the beaten path, not sort of like the traditional legal, but like, oh yeah, that sounds kind of interesting. Let me give me, let me turn my hand to that and see how that goes. So that that's really the types of things that we do, the types of services. Specifically, again, we do uh, business research, so we can get, get information on companies and individuals. We do news and current events monitoring through our uh, routings and the, some of the products that we use to build custom newsletters. We do traditional legal uh, research, um, just about anything that uh, the attorneys might come up with, we can, will, we can and we do turn our hand to. Great, great. Okay. And, and it's not, I, I like that because it's, it it's, you know, it's about the challenge, really. It's about, it's about um, finding, yeah, being able to solve that problem for people mm -hmm. uh, who you work with, which I think is awesome. Um, so tell me about one service or resource in your library that you're particularly proud of, something that uh, uh, stands out. You know, th th this is this is going to sound kind of corny, and I, I apologize for it, but, you know, the one, the, it's really the team, the staff, the, my colleagues 
here in the firm that you know we on the on the research team there is so much wisdom there i mean i can't i can't tell you how many times that uh that they've pulled my rivets out of the forge when i've been in a jam uh the the quality of the individuals that i work with are of the, are of the top quality and without them the you know sure people can use lexus and westlawn those are great resources and i really enjoy using them um and the support that we get from from our our vendor community is 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 top notch i can call them and, and get the help you know i can call individuals and get specific uh point of case need case, point need you know point of need re, uh, research assistance but i really think that the main resource is is the people and the the wisdom that they bring uh they bring to the to the table great so in your opinion, and, and I know that you're very involved in, uh, in the specialized, in specialized library community, mm -hmm. why are specialized libraries like yours important and, and what makes them relevant to their users right now? I, I think a number of different reasons. First is simply a matter of, of value. We always talk about delivering value to clients. Uh, I, and this is what I tell the attorneys when I'm doing orientation with them. They are companies have or they pay a lot of money for Dentons as their outside counsel. So it's up to everybody to be part of the value chain in that deliverable that that attorney delivers to that client. So that's one of the things that that that, that I stress. That's why special librarians like myself and my colleagues are are vital because we are part of that value chain. The second thing, the second reason I think is the fact of of sheer dollars. I have a billing rate. Okay. Um, when I do a client billable project, I bill out an X number of dollars. Now, I can tell you right off the bat, I don't know what the exact numbers are, but my billing rate is a heck of a lot cheaper than even the most junior associate in my firm. And, I, and, I, and that's, just a re, that's just the reality of, of how law firms work. So oftentimes it makes more sense for the attorney to ask myself or one of my colleagues to do something so that they're free to do more value added work. So again, it, it, it it becomes a uh, a question of numbers, and I think the, the 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 third reason is that the resources that are becoming available are becoming more and more complex, and it's up to us on the research team to be able to t talk to attorneys and say, "Here's something that might be of value," and then, "But here's something that may not be of value." So, for us to stay abreast of what's available in the legal and business information market. And help sort of be that 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 buffer between um, the vendor and their sales force and the attorneys. Because I mean, not that the attorneys aren't interested, but they have other they have bigger fish to fry. They've got to be worked really focused on that client relationship and delivering value to clients. We can help them and say, hey, here here are some products that might be helpful. We've looked at these ones; these may not be helpful, but at least we can act as that buffer, act as that sounding board for. Uh, attorneys and management and firms. Yeah, and it's really nice that you can uh, you can sort of assign a value and, and you can see the exact you know you can quantify how how much you bring to the organization. I think that's um, I think that's useful and I think it's a it's a great way to uh, to provide advocacy for you you and your role um, at, at Denton. So, um, I mean, okay, and, that, and, and it also provides help when the attorneys are billing. You yeah. know, they can say to the to the to the to the client here, this is what our research team, this is the value of the work that they've done on your matters. And yeah. it, it helps. Yeah. Okay, well, Eugene, thank you so much. Uh, thank you for everyone for watching. Uh, we will see you next time for another specialized library spotlight. Thank you, Dan. Have a good day. You too.